I don't know what's happening, but it's crazy. It's looking good so far. What is he doing? Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to another Terraria video. This is the 20th episode of Can Terraria Bosses Survive? And I don't know if I said I was going to do something special in this episode where I change up the bosses, but we're saving it for episode 30, okay? Maybe 25. I don't know. Because this episode, you know, I want to keep the same bosses because we're doing something interesting. We got the boy here, Hans the Mutant from the Fargo's mod. And we're going to be putting Hans attacks to the test because we saw Hans or whatever name the mutant had in that episode snipe the jungle dragon yarn during an episode and it was really surprising because i didn't know that this nbc even did that much damage and that's why we're putting them to the test today let's go ahead let's zoom out let's get right to it king slime is gonna be hans's first opponent here and let's see what hans can do go ahead hans show me what you can do oh my god <laughs> hans has some power Let, let's see skeleton come on oh hans got hit right there okay these aren't one taps but it's still a lot of damage for an npc so we got to get some respect there let's see the eye can you kill the eye before? okay <laughs> i was gonna say if, can you kill the eye before it runs away didn't even get a chance to run away on to the queen bee let's see it oh my god sometimes he's really quick on the draw other times he gets slapped in the face by skeletron and doesn't attack but he's still pretty quick on the draw okay his name might not be hans the whole entire episode if i have to carry him everywhere like this because i might just kill him and respawn a new one but i will try my best for now to bring him places all right let's see the brain now this one i'm interested in okay never mind he's proven to be quite resourceful so far those projectiles literally killed everything not too bad hans but now we gotta go we gotta go really far how far can i throw him that's not too bad i don't know if that's faster well all right you know let's put on the omega core let me pick him up and then let's see this should work yeah it looks like he's kind of like falling out of my grasp a little bit like my mouse isn't directly over him but it's working is working all right hans let's see you take on the eater here i'm uh i'm gonna just guess he's gonna kill the eater before it fully unravels that would just make sense yes i would do the same thing good job yeah let's go ahead and see lepus and turkor oh my god lepus didn't even get to touch the floor will turkor suffer the same fate let's see yes didn't even get to touch the floor what about the dark mage oh the dark mage was able to fully spawn in come on hans show me something hans there we go okay this might be a little bit harder to bring him to the underworld maybe hold up looks like there's a hell hole over here so maybe actually it won't be too hard all right let's go hans i'm gonna just drop you okay you know first one down there wins i think he has a little head start though so i'm gonna just there you go first one down wins okay let me grab him before we fall into the abyss because there's no floor down there but welcome to hell hans i don't know if you ever wanted to be here but now you are all right let's summon in the wall of flesh let's hope he uh takes it out without me having to do much okay that's good because things would have got a little scary if they got to the wall right here all right it is nighttime. we no longer have hans because uh that's a long way to drag somebody where was it right here i don't i did not feel like bringing him back up so we have fergo here fergo it's your time to shine against the three mega bosses let's see it let's see it we got him on a nice little platform here he's freaking out a little bit doesn't know what to aim at doesn't matter because all those projectiles will just home in for him. Oh, he's getting attacked right now. Get some, get some hits in there, Hans. You're not Hans. Get some hits in there, Fergo. Okay, I gotta help out a little bit. Just like help him dodge a little bit. Oh god. Okay, hold up. Let me let me come up here. There it goes. Is this helping? Can you throw an attack, Fergo? I'm gonna need you to throw an attack. There we go. See, I just had to distract for him. He gets a little nervous when everyone's looking at him. Come on, Fergo. Stop doing that little shit you're doing in attack. Oh, he's going to have troubles with this one, huh? All right, hold up. Let's bring you down to the floor. Maybe this helps out a little bit. Come on. Let me see it. Let me see it, Fergo. Throw that spear. There we go. It just took a while. Okay, we have another new mutant, uh, Fargo. The names are super creative. Shout out to the Fargo's mod developers for these names. I don't know if they activate these pressure plates or not, so let me break a couple of them. You know, that's good enough. Let's see it. Golem, Plantera. Let me see you do some work, Fergo. Oh my god. See, that time he was taking some hits, but he knew his job. Unlike Fergo, Fargo knew his job. Maybe there was just less enemies to target. I don't know. But he was fucking focused. All right, Fargo, since we're here, you know, might as well fight, I don't know, Duke? Can we fight Duke down here? Yes, we can. You know, might as well do some stuff down here so I don't have to kill you off and summon in a new one. What about the Martian Saucer? Let me see you do some work here. This one might be a little hard. Let me, I'll try and bring it like really far away so it doesn't hit you. That's kind of good enough. Fargo, you want to do some? <laughs> Maybe I gotta, go, I gotta bring it down a little bit. That already needs a platform to stand on. I, I just think it might be too far away from. All right, there you go. Are you happy? 
You better attack him now. Stay up there. Stop falling through the damn platform. What is wrong with you? Is he shy or something? The NPCs don't like platforms? He's sinking like a rock. All right, there you go. He has a platform to stand on. He should be able to target it from here. If not, I don't know. Maybe he just can't kill this boss. He's too shy against it. What is he doing? How is he clipping through the floor like that? Just kill the boss, Fargo. What is he doing? <laughs> All right, I summoned in like 10 of them. And if they don't attack this Martian saucer, then I really don't know. This is a boss they can't kill. They just don't have the, the range and the AI to kill this boss. Yeah, none of them are throwing a spear. They're getting a chance to. It's not like all of them are getting hit. All right, let us go ahead and move on to some next bosses here. Hopefully, they actually attack them. Here, you want to kill the ogre? Oh, look at that. You want to fight all of a sudden. Let's see bets. Look at this. It's like you're scared of fucking Martian saucers or something. It's understandable. They, they are scary. UFOs are scary. But, uh, you know, I think... It, Trees with faces on them are pretty scary too. I don't know. He's tearing right through these bosses. Like, I'm barely having a chance to, like, put them down. What about the Dutchman? Is that something you would be afraid of? The Dutchman? Oh, we might have found something. Oh. Okay, never mind. You know, maybe he wasn't attacking the UFO because it kept hitting him. But I don't know. I've seen the mutant get hit and also attack things at the same time. Like, when we spawned in Plantera and Golem, he got hit a couple times, but he still attacked but maybe the UFO is also out of range. It's not like I could just grab the UFO either. You saw what happens when I try to grab it. Yeah, here you go. Pumpkin, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Nice. And last but not least, the man, the myth, the legend, Marco himself. Go ahead. Go ahead and end Marco. This is damn near a UFO. It can be considered an unidentified flying object. Maybe one more time, one more time with the UFO. One more time. You are right, here. Let me let me change something here, cause the UFO is obviously shooting at me, but it's hitting him. So if I try and get out of the way of it, you know, where the fuck is it? If I try and get out of the way of it, ooh, it doesn't even want to like come on screen. <laughs> I think it's just too far away. The Martian saucer is no. I what the fuck happened? <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty interested to see how this works out. Will the mutant just straight up attack these guys? Okay, it looks like a no, but that that's not a part of the bosses, okay? These guys, you know, they're, they're more like little tiny enemies, which I'm honestly surprised he wouldn't just attack them for no reason. But we're here to see the bosses against the mutant, not the little enemies. Alright, go ahead. End him. Go ahead. Get his ass. You see him? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep, good shot. <laughs> you gotta hit him eventually, right? Come on, the, you know where the real one is. It's right there. It's right in front of you. This one right here. I got him right here. Oh, there we go. There we go. It just took a little bit of motivation, but we did it. Okay, we're not gonna do a speed run this time, okay? There's no point to do a speed run because uh, this, this dude obviously he takes a little bit of motivation here and there. But, let's go ahead and let's just bring him near the pillars anyways. Go ahead, one more attack. One more attack. His AI is like not working. You attacked it the first time. There you go. It seems like he's only attacking the enemies it's spawning and not attacking the pillar itself. So we're learning some interesting stuff about Terraria AI. Solar pillar, here we are. Go ahead. Oh, he attacked the pillar that time? Or was there an enemy that spawned in? I don't know. See, it gets it gets weirder every time. Because now, are we really learning about the AI? Like, I don't know. Vortex, I'm accidentally holding both of them. My bad, my bad. But this should be quick. Because there was two enemies that spawned in. Okay, maybe not that quick. This time, he doesn't feel like attacking the pillar. I don't know why. Where are you going? He's trying to escape. Your job isn't over yet. Once you finish your job, you can go home, do whatever the hell you want. But until then, you're doing Game Raiders video. and You're not leaving until you're done. Okay, this one has not spawned in an enemy yet. Come on, spawn in an enemy, please. This man needs to attack something. Okay, for some reason, this pillar is just not spawning in enemies. Even after I took off the thing that's supposed to stop enemies from spawning. But enemies are spawning anyway, so I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> so let me spawn in some nebula enemies here to help motivate the fight. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tom. Handle them. Right there, Tom. You got them in your sights. You guys look the fucking same. How, how did you kill the other pillars where you don't want to kill this one? I don't get it. Tom. Look, there's more enemies spawning, Tom. I know you want to kill them. 
There we go. Holy shit. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to a nice little arena here. And I'm going to summon in a bunch of the mutants because I do not trust one against the uh, moon lord here. So we're going to summon in a bunch. And hopefully this works out. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm not like I'm not liking what I'm seeing so far in this video. They get a little disobedient at times. Hey, you know, in the meantime, I guess we should fight the dungeon guardian. You know, why not real quick? Oh, my God. They killed the dungeon guardian immediately. Hey, there he is. What's up, bro? All right. Does anybody want to participate in attacking the moon lord? Uh, there's a lot of you, so I would assume at least one of you want to participate. No? Looking like a no so far? Come on. Oh, he's hitting you guys. I'm trying to stop them from doing that to hopefully encourage them to attack. But uh, it does not seem like they want to attack like at all. Now, I got an idea with this, okay? Since sometimes they don't uh, like attacking bosses directly. What if I summon in some enemies? Oh my god. Oh, they're attacking now. They're attacking a lot now. They're still attacking. Okay, uh, I can say that a W. So uh, what about what about this then? We re-summon in the Martian saucer, right? But then I just summon in like a bunch of zombies and stuff. Perfect. That's a W in my book. All right, we're gonna get a little meta here. All right, we're gonna summon in the mutant. Can the mutant take on the mutant? Let's see. Oh, he's fighting back. He's fighting back. Let's bring him to the rest of them. That's kind of loud. That's really loud. I'm gonna summon in even more though, because I have a feeling this could work eventually. Where's he at? Get his ass. Get his ass. I don't know what's happening, but it's crazy. It's lagging the game. This is getting loud. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody stop. Everyone calm down. Everyone calm down. I killed him myself. Oh, he has a second phase. <laughs> Everyone calm down. I killed him myself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That, that was not worth it. Now we got like 30 mutants I have to kill. You know what? Instead of killing them, forget it. I don't care. <laughs> Let's just take on the next bosses. It doesn't matter really how many there are. That's not affecting anything in my opinion. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just summon in some guys here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You guys already know what time it is. It's a little dark. It's a little hard to see them. Well, actually, they're glowing green. So if you have trouble seeing them, maybe you're colorblind. I don't know. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, Doomsayer coin. They're already attacking and they haven't even spawned in fully. Okay, good, good job, everybody. All right, now let's get on to the interesting stuff here. And that is, of course, all of the Calamity bosses. Now we saw him kill Yarn. It was the second phase, I believe, but still, that is very impressive. We also saw them kill the Dungeon Guardian, which is also impressive, which makes me want to spawn in the Eidolon Worm first, just to see, you know? Let's go ahead and see it. Guys, you, you missed your chance right there. It'll come back up. It'll come back up. Okay, what, what about it like this? What about it like this? We see what happens when they don't want to attack it this way, right? That's when we spawn in a zombie. That's when we spawn in a zombie. You come up here. We spawn in a zombie. Oh, uh, it doesn't kill it, sadly. But that's still respectable. Not really. I don't know. <laughs> oh, they're attacking you now. They are attacking you now. They've been disrespected by the Eidolon Worm, so they are starting to throw hands now. Look at that. All right, let us see the Devourer of Gods. Let's see if these boys can take them on or not. It's looking good so far. It's looking real good so far. Good job, boys. Phase two, though. Phase two is always a different question. Of course they can take on phase two. What was I thinking? This is looking like an easy W. Oh, my God. I'm sorry if this video is loud at all, but you know, what, what can I control here? I could turn the volume down, but that would take away from the greatness that all the boys are doing. All right, sadly, I can't summon yarn over here because it yearns for the jungle. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll fight. Maybe I'll fight Supreme Cal first. Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. What is there to lose? All right, I hope you guys are good at dodging. They're, they're good enough. Some of them are dodging it, I guess. All right, kill the sepulcher. Kill the sepulcher. You guys got it are they throwing stuff i can't tell oh they are they definitely are they'll kill everything eventually here we go here we go up here keep on throwing keep on throwing yeah yeah <laughs> good job boys okay okay i see you doing damage i see y'all doing damage to supreme cow it's not bad i honestly think we don't have enough of them in here most of them escape lucky for them you guys should like split up a little bit though no no cap 
split up a little bit okay this is beautiful to look at it's loud but it's beautiful to look at it really is i feel like i need more mutants the more mutants the merrier honestly now we got some in the middle we got some in the side oh yes oh the brothers are awake i haven't seen these guys in a minute where the hell is supreme cal at she dipped all right you guys are having troubles attacking the brothers let me just help you out a little bit okay let me summon in a couple of uh, zombies here and hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit all right there you go the brothers are dead and Supreme Cal, oh my god, my game is going to rock. Okay, I finally turned the sound down because it was starting to drive me crazy too. It just got to the point to where it was a little too loud. I was able to handle it before, but it just it hit the point of where it was way too loud. I think it's because I summoned in like 30 more mutants. Oh my god, my FPS is dropping. The frames are dropping. I don't think the game is supposed to handle things like this. I definitely don't think when the devs were coding the game, they thought this was going to happen. She's so close to dying. Finish it, boys. Finish it yes sir yes sir let me just you know open this up you know you get down here finish her finish her for me somebody finish her okay i'll put a zombie i'll help you guys out a little bit come on i gotta spawn another one there we go honestly what a beautiful sight the mutants were able to take on supreme cal words i would never thought i would ever say in terraria holy but now we're gonna go fight yarn i think we, i think we know the outcome but let me get rid of all these guys all right let us do it i think we're gonna summon in yarn first and then we're just gonna sprinkle the world with some mutants beautiful and this should work out. It might get a little laggy and loud again. Let me turn this back down to 11. But this should work out just like it worked out on Supreme Cal. Okay, here we go. Phase 2 is starting. These guys are not letting off. Oh, God. But look at this. This is honestly another beautiful sight. I love to see it. Just Calamity bosses getting destroyed by things they would expect the least, you know? It's a very pleasant sight. And there you go. We've seen it before. There's nothing surprising. We've seen that before. That's literally the boss they sniped in that one video. But yeah, good job, boys. I think I think we know what time it is. And uh, it might get a little dangerous here. I, I think what we got to do is go back over here if we're going to fight Egg Death. So uh, let's go do that. All right, I'll be honest here. I do not think they're going to beat Egg Death at all. But we're going to try it anyways. Let's do it. Boys, please please do something they're doing damage which is super super surprising but i don't think they're gonna do it for much longer yeah uh even if we had a whole world's worth i don't think they were gonna kill egg death but i appreciate the effort go ahead egg death take me away all right so there you go there was the mutant from the fargo's mod the npc going against all the bosses and can your bosses survive and it did really good it honestly did really good it did a lot better than some weapons we've seen on this series so honestly I, i'm impressed by it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave some suggestions for more op weapons or just strong weapons that you think would do good in, in this series but yeah i'll see you guys next time face cam stream coming soon your boy got a haircut so i'll finally do a face cam stream i'll see y'all next time have a good one have a great day